Good afternoon, beautiful students of the River State University. My name is Welt Iaye and I'm the Student Union Government Financial Secretary, River State University. Now, you will be wondering, what am I doing here? This is the Vox Pop session of the Business Entrepreneurship Summit, the fourth edition. And we are here at the Faculty of Management Sciences, the very, very first venue of our Vox Pop session. And I hope you actually enjoy this because it's going to be very entertaining, inspiring and funny. Because we'll be asking students about their business experience, the most painful part, the sweetest part of their business. And of course, we'll be asking them to spell some finance words. Don't laugh. Thank you so much, darlings. See you later. What's your name? My name is Grey Abule. Okay, and what faculty are you from? Uh, 200 level faculty of law. Oh, so you're among the ESQ people. Yeah. Nice. Uh, the learners people. Uh, everybody's learned. Okay, so I happen to know that you're into business. What kind of business are you into? Okay, I'm into uh, corporate wares, mostly for people in my profession. So these days I'm trying to include people from uh, other professions, so those people that you know dress corporately. Yeah. So you chose this line of business because of your profession. That's what breathed this, right? No, not really. It's something I just love. I just like. I just love dressing corporately. Wherever I'm going, church, school, I just love dressing corporately. So for the love of it, I started. All right. So it's safe to say you're a corporate woman. Yes. <laughs> All right, so what are you the most proud of about your business? Well, the thing I'm most proud of is that the reviews I'm getting is really, really encouraging to me. You know, meeting the needs of these people in the corporate world and not just meeting it, adding value to their wardrobes and everything is really, really encouraging for me. I really love it. Okay, adding values to their wardrobes, I like. All right, so what, um, what is the biggest challenge you've encountered as regards to your business? Well, the biggest challenge I've encountered is uh, basically there's something I can actually solve, but the challenges I'm experiencing are online. You know, getting to meet customers, getting them to trust you since they don't know you physically. The business is online, you don't have a physical shop they can come to. Talking to them to finally agree to send you money before seeing the goods, it's something else. Building trust is kind of the biggest challenge I have but we're working on it thank you all right so since building trust is the biggest what's the best part of business for you and the best part of the business for me is uh, of course making money and uh, solving their problems you know when you solve problems you make money That's smart money human all right last question what's the name of your store okay the name of my store is Mogre the brand or short, I do shorten it I call it great stores thank you so much great it was nice talking to you Okay, it's so good to have you here this evening. So what's your name? I'm Siri Golden. Okay, Siri Golden. And um, what department? Environment of Social, the Faculty of Social Science. Okay, that's great. Yeah. So um, you're a business owner, yeah? Yes, exactly. So um, what are you into? Like what kind of business do, do you do? Basically entertainment. Oh, we and have a brand, Siri Golden Entertainment, CGE. Yeah, we, we have various um, um, brands. We have dance schools, we have a music artist, we have comedians and all. Oh, and wow. That's really amazing. So we really want to know, what prompted you to start this business? Like, why did you actually start this um, entertainment business? Oh, okay, now, I'm the director of social university university, and I believe, and I actually coined a quote that university university is the social base of talent in Nigeria. So, whereas in office, I, I have... I've come in contact with a lot, a lot of individuals that can sing, that have good raw talent. So I created the forum, I created an entertainment body to house them and like, like house them and show them off to other persons. So um, it's basically um, giving opportunities to these talents, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow, really amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, thank I want you. to actually thank the financial secretary too for this kind of wonderful innovation. We're going to have University University a long way. God bless University University. God bless SUG. God bless University. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's so good to have you here this yeah. evening. Yeah, so what's your name? My name is Kodu Baribe. Okay, and what department? Mass Communication 400 level. Oh, amazing. So, um, Kodu Baribe, you're a business owner, yeah? 
Yeah. yeah, that's really amazing. So, what kind of business do you do? Okay, I'm into the sales of perfumes. I'm also a realtor, and then I also have a small telecom thing. Oh, wow, that's really amazing. So, um, what aspect of your business are you most proud of? Oh, it has to be the perfume side of my business. Yeah, wow. yeah. Okay, that's really cool. And um, what values have you cultivated over the years that have actually helped you in your business transactions with people and all of it? Okay, that should be integrity because I deal with perfumes and um, mostly oil perfumes. So, and then you know that perfumes these days are mostly diluted. So, integrity has helped our brand not to dilute our oil. So, our customers are very loyal because they know that what they are getting is not what is out there. So, it means you're giving them premium value. Premium value. Oh, wow, that's really amazing. Thank you so much for this section. Your name is? Godwin. Okay, so I happen to know that you're a business owner. What kind of business are you into? I'm into car dealership. Okay, car dealership. So, what are you the most proud of about your business? What are you proud of about your business? Well, actually, I could say it's a thing of passion for me. So, and it's something being a joyful something, seeing people driving a car. It's kind of bringing cars to the other step to bridge the um, gap between the excessive income and the much expensive uh, maintenance of car to let them know that car is something they can be able to have. All right. So, what online marketing strategy do you implore with your business? Yeah, actually, I do some kind of online promotion in the sense that the online platform boosts my commodities once it's been published. So, I don't, I don't spend much on it. Just have to engage with my few friends then. So what business strategy do you use for you to sell your business, for you to sell your words to your audience? Yeah, actually, I make sure to assure my customers of sound and verified commodities. So once they hear about RM Automobile, they say, okay, like that guy is sound and verified, so there's no lack of trust in it. So for the fact it's sound and verified, should give me a try there. And once you come, it's sound and verified. Okay, so integrity is key for you. Yeah, integrity is key and the quality is job done over there, so there's nothing to risk there. Thank you so much, Godwin. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Pretty Choma Amadi. Okay, what faculty are you in? I'm in social science. Okay. Um, you own a business, right? Yes. What kind of business do you do? I do bake. I'm a cake designer and I'm also into snacks. Wonderful. That's very nice. Do you, do you taste your snacks? Yes, I do taste them. Okay. That's very nice. So, uh, what... Um, what what equipment did you start with when you started your business? I said that was stove. Okay, stove. Stove. Just stove, frying pan. Yes. yes. Okay, very, at a very small scale. Yes. Okay, so now do you use an oven or you still use stove? No, nah, I do use an oven, but it's not really my okay. my cousin's one. Okay. How long have you been in this business? I've been in this business since six months now. Six months. Six months. What made you to start the business actually? Because I had the Z for it. I love baking. When I see cakes and ice cream, I desire it and I want to do it. So I desired it, so I went into it. And I think people love my cakes. I bake like six cakes for people. And I pray for God to give me the grace to bake more. That's very nice. That's very nice. So would you like to be part of a business um, summit where um, probably you're giving grants to um, expand your cake business and do more, learn more things? Yes, I would like it. That was why I entered group chats for cakes and other businesses. I really love it. Okay, no problems. Um, we have a business entrepreneurship summit program coming up this Wednesday at um, CIBN Bankers Hall. That's um, beside the amphitheatre. You know the amphitheatre? I don't really know about it. Okay, so you can ask your way around. I think you drop your number so that we direct you on Wednesday by 11 a.m. so that you come. Probably you can even win a grant for your business and make more cakes as you desire. Hi, good afternoon. good afternoon. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Innocent Tochi. Okay. So I happen to know that you're into business. What kind of business are you into? Alright, I'm into fashion designer. Okay, that's nice. So who inspires your entrepreneurial journey? Um the person that inspired me most before I started this world job is um Yemi Cashwas. Wow, that's nice. Alright, so are you a student? Yeah, I'm a student. Awesome. So, how do you balance your business and your academic life? All right. Um, you know, it's not been easy, but I'll be trying to I make sure that I come to school for lectures and also uh, when I go home, I have to do my job, mostly at night. And sometimes I can bring people, I have some person that I will pay 
for them to do the job for me so that I can I won't be so that I can balance the, my studies and my job at the same time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Innocent. Okay, Onome, it's so good to have you here. So, um, what business are you into? Um, mobile banking. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So, you make banking easy for people, right? Kind of. Okay, so yeah, so far in your business, what's like the biggest challenge you've encountered? Um, I think the shortages and everything, most of the time, the network. The network is actually bad in some time. Okay, so these are like things you cannot control. When network is bad, you really cannot, um, you know, do these mobile transactions for people, right? Yes, yes, I can't. Okay, so when um, you face issues like this, how do you get to handle the pressure from customers and all that? Um, nothing much. I just make it known to them that the network is bad instead of trying and them getting debited over little issues. Okay, so it's more like... I will not kill myself, yes, so yes, it's I, not something I, I can, can hand you. Myself, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Yeah. Hi. Good afternoon. Yo. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what's your name? My name is Pauline Emmanuel Jr. Okay, Emmanuel. Yeah. All right. So, what kind of business would you want to venture into? Actually, <clears throat> I would love to venture into fashion designing. Okay, fashion designing, that's nice. But then, why fashion designing? <laughs> I'm more of a fashionista. I'm also a model, so, you know, I'm not really showing much of my fashion here in school, but outside school, that's what I do for a living. All right, thank you so much for your time, Emmanuel. Right. Thank you. Oh, good evening. Hi, good evening. What's your name? My name is Chuka Osabiku. I like your smile. Thank you. Spell the word entrepreneurship. E-N-T-R-E. P-R-E-N-E-U-R-S-H-I-P You're sure? Yeah. Okay. So what but it's correct, is it? Yes, it's correct. It's correct. <laughs> so what business do you do? So I'm a filmmaker and photographer and voiceover artist. Okay, so when did you start this? I started this in year one when I came into school. I came I came in contact with the radio station and we started practicing from there. What's, what's the radio station? Excel FM 103.7. Okay. And I found that I had a passion for, for broadcasting generally, radio, TV, and I picked up from there. Okay, so you're trying to tell me that you continue to do this for the rest of your life? Yes, actually. I want everything I do um, to stem from um, TV and radio. Yeah, so this is, those will be my primary um, occupation, if that's the word, but I'll do so many other things, but it all come from TV and radio. Okay, so what's your daily motivation? What keeps you going? Uh, my daily motivation, <laughs> the fact that I, I, I know that I have something that the world has to hear and the world has to see. So. When I come, wake up every morning, I see people and I understand that um, if I don't do what I have to do, someone out there may be dying, you know, someone out there may not have um, the strength, so yeah. Awesome. So I'm really impressed. I'm Thank, really you so impressed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, bye. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, good evening. Okay, it's um, we're having a vox pop section for business owners in school, and we would like you to share your experience with us. So, first off, what's your name? Okay, I'm Adi Lucky. Okay, that's great. So, um, what business are you into? Okay, I'm into um, teaching tutorials. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So, it's more like making things easy for students, yeah, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, that's beautiful. So, what do you enjoy most about your business? Okay, and first and foremost, I love to impart knowledge in students uh, because knowledge is power, like you said. And it's my joy when I see students and go for knowledge rather than just going for grades because it helps even when they graduate out from school. It helps them to know themselves and know how to defend themselves in times of challenges. Oh, wow. That's really good. Wow. Really beautiful. Yes. So, what challenges have you encountered? You know how students can be sometimes, you know, taking them tutorials and all of it. So, what challenge do you usually encounter in, um, you know, doing this tutorial thing? Okay, and sincerely, there are a lot of challenges because, um, you know, something you love doing, they won't force you to do. And most students, they feel so, um, the lack of, and they'll have that apathy, you understand, to come for tutorial, you have to force them to come. And it has really been a challenge, it has been affecting me, though you force students to come and learn, come and learn, and look as if they are wasting their time learning. So that has really been a major challenge, and consistency is another challenge, because some students, they come today, 
they don't come tomorrow. And what I thought today, they will begin to ask me questions, taking us back, and it has really affected my learning. And determination is another one. Many students are not determined. They just want to come and do what they feel they can do. So those are the major challenges. Wow, that's really good. Thank you so much for sharing your experience with okay, us. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, ma. All right. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm actually okay. Okay. So what's your name? Chinosu. Okay, Chinonsu. So I happen to know that you're into business, right? So what kind of business are you into? I'm an Ofo Street maker. What is Ofo Street? What does Ofo Street making mean? Can I put it in my own terms? Sure. You know that chair that's to be in your parlor? <laughs> okay. I kind of chair that is it. Alright, more like furniture kind of. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So what, um, what made you venture into this line of business? Um, not so much. My, it's so, it's been there my father do. He is occupation, so I decided to inherit it from him. Okay, it's a family occupation, right? Yeah. All right. So, what challenges do you experience as regards to your line of business? Challenges. Um, increase in price of materials. That is it. That is it. Uh, all right. So, you're a student. How do you balance your academic life and your business life? It's difficult for me to balance them, but yeah, like after school, I do I do go back to work. That just is trying to know what it's a priority for you and all of that, right? Yeah. Okay. So one last question: How do you get through to your audience? How do you market your goods to your audience? Okay, I do. I'm actually I'm thinking of opening a Facebook group for my business. And I'm thinking of opening an Instagram group for my for the business. I get it. I'm not yet done, but we'll soon. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. All right. Hi. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. What's your name? Okay, Felix Nice, but popularly known as Nice Guy Radio Boyfriend. Nice guy. Yeah. When last did you see that nice biscuit? Oh wow! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was kind of my best biscuit. Back then, yeah, 2006. Me. Wow, you're, you're, you're old, <laughs> come to say. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah. so um, this whole um, Vox Club session is about business, your business experience. Oh, so, okay. do you have an experience in business? Sure, a lot of experiences. You don't want to hear it. I want to hear, please. Oh, wow, okay. I want to hear what, what, like, okay, what I'm, I'm into a different thing, okay. okay. Um, first, first, I like photography, I'm a professional photographer. Professional, so what makes you think you're a professional? Because um, I'm not a cameraman, I'm a photographer, and they are two different things. Are you serious? First time I'm hearing this. Yeah, for real. Um, cameramen are those ones that are right inside of... <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I know you guys are seeing this now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that was funny. That yeah, was. yeah. So, photographer, you know, we get to give you creativity from... Like, take shots from different angles, edit it with Photoshop and Lightroom, and make sure it comes out perfect. That, 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 yeah, and aside that. photography, I do um, videography as well, and of course, um, MC, stand up so, comedian. So you're trying to say that if we have a show, we should call you? Yeah, I'm quite affordable, okay, but not really affordable, anyways. You wouldn't have thought about affordable. Uh, okay. Don't worry, I, I did for you. No okay. Yeah. So, and um, what advice do you actually have? You know, some persons will be like, "Wow, I, I love what this guy is doing. I want to. I don't want to be a cameraman. I want to be a photographer." So, what? steps can these people take now to advance from cameramen you know um the good part is everything is on youtube and the bad part is everything is on youtube <laughs> yeah because everything is on youtube i um, i didn't get to have and i didn't get to make more money for myself because instead of people coming to me for me to teach them they go on youtube and watch it and the good part is that it's on youtube so you can learn it and be professional other than being a passport cameraman so okay the practical so you're trying to say even in the practical sense of photography and theory part, everything's on YouTube. Yeah, but you know this practical face-to-face um, -face, um, teaching yeah. is quite different from what you exactly. see online. Exactly. So, yeah, they should just go for professionalism. Okay. No That's problems. my advice. No problems. You've done so well. I just want to inform you of um, the Business Entrepreneurship Summit program coming up on Wednesday at the CIBN Bankers Hall, just behind the, the basketball court. I want you to not miss it. All right. I, if you want, I can be your host. Nice one. That was smooth, bro. Yeah. That was smooth. All right. So, hi. We've come to the end of the Vox Pop session for Yay! the day one of the 
BES program and we are super super excited about this one. Yes, you know, we got to interview lots of business owners and their experiences were beautiful. I mean, we had a lot. So yeah, come connect, have fun and make money. Make money. We can't wait to see you. Don't forget, Wednesday is the grand finale. You don't want to miss it for anything. You cannot anything. miss it. -E